So dream language is simply, you know, speaking life into yourself, speaking life into that situation, speaking life into whatever that that idea, that vision, mm -hmm. that dream is. And it's about positive talk. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? We got our final draft. I'm live with my man, Algernon Hall, the dream catcher. What's good with y'all? How you guys doing? Cool. So let's just jump right into it, man. So quick disclaimer. This video was actually from two years ago when me and Alex used to shoot the Facebook live show out of the office live from the draft. So let me know what you guys think about it because we definitely want to bring something like this back. So if you like this format, let me know what you guys think. And if you look on the whiteboard, my son Noah, he drew a little picture and the picture is of me. So I just think it's the cutest thing ever. So let me know what you guys think about this drawing too. But anyway, back to the video. Um, you know, from the last video, we talked a lot about dream language. And a few people hit me up like, yo, tell them to go into, go into that more about me the too. dream language, explain what that yeah. is and what that means. Yeah. So yeah, so I got a lot of feedback on dream language. A lot of people sent some messages. It was some um, messages on the actual feed and I even got right. some text messages. And that's something that actually just came to me. but. Really, what dream what dream language is, if we if we if we you recall, that's really combating all that negativity, mm -hmm. you know, that but we right. talked about but last week, right. and dream language is simply positive affirmations. That's all it is. I mean, we have enough negativity around us. Um, we got enough naysayers, um, you know, people that are in our circle, outside of our circle, that just have negative things to say, or people that are limited. Offer their ideas, you know, based on their experiences and, and what they've seen or what they've heard. Mm -hmm. And they project that onto us unknowingly. You know what I'm saying? And so the fact of the matter is, is when that happens, we adopt some of those beliefs and those, those thoughts. Right. Not only about our surroundings, but about ourselves. So dream language is simply, you know, speaking life into yourself. Speaking life into that situation. Speaking life into whatever that that idea that vision mm -hmm. that dream is and it's about positive talk or constant right. positive talk a perfect example is uh, you know like my son and i hope mm -hmm. he better not he better not running here you know <laughs> when he hears his name or whatever but uh, we were at a game and um and he's in a little slump batting okay and so i said yo i said you about to get this hit right mm -hmm. now and he said you know maybe and i just kind of almost flipped right. and lost maybe it. like you yeah. can't you can't be on the fence about about yourself, right. about your ideas, your visions, your dream. If you don't believe in you, nobody else is gonna believe in right. you. So with that dream like with that dream language, you know, when you're pursuing these ideas, these visions, these dreams, I mean some of us we got monsters. We got some big dreams. We got some goals that we want to attain. We talked about those mm -hmm. goals. I mean and we really gotta really give ourselves a pep talk. We really gotta keep ourselves on point because, you know, sometimes we're by ourselves. You know, we're taking that exam or we're sitting down in, in our quiet time or or we're doing whatever mm -hmm. and we gotta you gotta keep telling yourself, I got this. Right. You gotta stop rehearsing, I can't, I won't, you know, it's not possible mm -hmm. and start saying I can, I will, I must, it's gonna happen, mm -hmm. I am. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know, this whole thing with, with this dream language man is, is is that um they don't understand dream language. You know, um a lot of our, you know, some our parents, mm -hmm. a lot of our parents don't understand it. They want to project what they know on you. Right. Why are you doing that? You need to go to school. You need to, you know, you need to go ahead and get that 401k. Right. Put in, you know, why are you They're going so that way? They're living their way, uh, living safe. Right. You know, of working that job. Yeah. Exactly. And the thing about it is it's not that they're doing it intentionally to hurt you. They mm -hmm. just don't know. Right. You know, they just don't know. Like I said, I, I went through a similar thing when I first revealed to my parents that I was going, that I was thinking about starting Jubilee Children's Entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you know, people look at you and like, what? Right. You know, but, you know, I'm sure they said the same thing about Steve, when, when Steve Jobs mentioned the business plan that he mm -hmm. had. You know, Walt Disney, they told, they said to Walt that he wasn't creative. He wasn't creative enough and he even went as far as got to getting fired. They told Oprah Winfrey the same thing. Right. They said that she didn't have the, the image mm -hmm. to be a news anchor they told her that and she got fired you know so that's those times where you got to speak that dream language to yourself you got to really continuously build yourself up so dream language is critical because like I said it's about speaking life into your ideas your visions and your those dreams and it's also serves as a weapon mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying it serves as a weapon because what you're doing is whenever you're getting that negative energy bucking up against you you can buck back right. Right, kind of taking the power from them 
Absolutely. Taking over God's hands. And the, the fact of the matter is, they really don't have any power. Because this right. dream thing yeah. is personal. Mm -hmm. You allow yourself to accept what they're saying about, about you. You know, so we got to take ownership. We got to take responsibility. And that's how I, I feel that we have to reverse that whole thing as far as and starting to get accustomed to our dream language. What I do every single morning is in the midst of like praying, mm -hmm. that I also go to Pinterest and on my Instagram, um, every Definitely. morning I put a positive quote. On my Facebook feed, you know, Algernon Hall, right. there's a positive quote. And when I select quotes, guess what? Here's the thing what people don't know. I don't just randomly select quotes. I read quotes and I pick quotes that strike a chord within me. Nice, okay. So don't get it twisted. The dream catcher. So it's not like a random. I no. Nah, quote today. No. Nah. Something that you really feel. Dream catcher wake up yeah. some mornings and feel like giving up. Mm -hmm. Dream catchers, you know, I wake up sometime and I feel adversity. You know what I'm saying? Dream catcher feels this way, feels that way. So those things speak to me, and it's no different than the word. Like, I'm no, I'm no preacher or nothing like that. But the no. bottom line is, I'm not a preacher. <laughs> That's your, your dad said the last time right. to beat. I sound like a preacher. Right. But you know, the bottom line is like, I mean, it's just like the word. Like, how do you reverse dysfunction? Mm -hmm. Or you know what I'm saying? Or how do you reverse attacks from the devil? You attack it with the word. So a man think of in his heart, so is he. So a woman think of in her heart, so is she. So what are you inputting in yourself? It's like reading. It's like knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. If you want to expand your knowledge, you know, your knowledge, you got to read, you got to start to build up right. mentally. Definitely. If you want to work out, if you want to develop bigger biceps or pecs, you know, larger pecs, whatever, mm -hmm. you won't have to continuously work those muscles. So it's the same thing. If you're constantly dealing with negativity, doubt, and fear, what you got to do is you got to use your dream language. You got to continuously speak to yourself or read personal development right. or work out them quotes. Continuously look at them quotes, build yourself up, mm -hmm. find those ones, those quotes, quotes that really strike a chord within you, and read them and meditate on them. That's what we do. I like it. Cool, man. Do. Tell them where to find you. Yeah, so, you know, Instagram, or, you know, please follow me on Facebook at Algernon Hall. And on YouTube. On YouTube, um, you just type in Dream Catches that'll pop up. You type in Algernon Hall that'll pop up. And also, stay tuned. Algernonhall.com <laughs> It's coming soon It's going to be crazy yeah, it It's going to be kinda, oh, kinda It's going to be bananas I'm excited I'm charged up If you see these videos You're going to know What I'm talking about You're going to get a laugh man You're working because, on this website Right now It's coming along great Yeah so I'm really great. excited about it So those are the um, the areas That, that you can uh, reach out to me And uh, contact Cool 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 Hey y'all know how to find me I'm at Finals Rap At Instagram And on Twitter And you can find me on YouTube too Check out, um, just search my name, you'll find me on YouTube, Reggie Dupree. No doubt. There you go. So, peoples, make this week extraordinary. Make it a phenomenal week. Grind, you know what I'm saying? Rise, grind, and shine, and reach your full potential. <laughs> see y'all soon. All right, so I'll see y'all. Peace.